welcome back to my channel in today's video i'm going to be doing another vlog i'm really really loving doing vlogs at the minute they're just such an easy video to film and yeah i just really like filming them i'm going to be doing a massive decluttering video of my wardrobe it's been very requested actually like quite a few months back it was requested through lockdown and i've just not had the chance to do it because i'm one of them people that doesn't get rid of clothes like I'll like look at something in the wardrobe that I haven't worn for like probably two years and think oh no I'll keep that because it might come in handy one day but then it never does so I need to be brutal I will be putting things on my Depop so I'll pop my Depop on the screen and then you can go follow me over there but if you do enjoy this video don't forget to give it a huge thumbs up subscribe down below if you haven't already and let's just get started so this section of the video is kindly sponsored by Ana Luisa. I'm so so excited to share with you the bits that Ana Luisa have sent me. Ana Luisa is a jewellery brand and they have some of the best jewellery like I've seen like the quality is insane and some of the pieces on there like I could shop on that website all day. But yeah now we're coming up to the Christmas period there'll be amazing Christmas presents. The prices are just so affordable especially for how good the quality is so the first piece of jewelry i have to show you is this beautiful necklace it's like a gold padlock and key and i just think it's absolutely beautiful so that is the first piece and then the second piece is these safety pin earrings i just saw these and i thought they're just so unique and different and that's why I really wanted them. The prices on there, like I've said, are so good. Prices start from £39 and for a bit of jewellery, a bit of good quality jewellery should I say, you cannot go wrong with the prices at all. And yeah, I just think they're so beautiful and I'll show you the little pouches that they come in. This is what will make them like into such beautiful gifts as well. So they come in like little pouches like this. It says Joy and then obviously Ana Luisa on the bottom. So that's the green one and then here is the other one which is, it's black but it's coming off navy on camera. And then obviously that says Ana Luisa as well. Every time I fall in love it seems to be at the wrong time. You walked into my life. And I knew right then and there I wouldn't get you off my mind But then I looked you up And there she was In your arms all cute and stuff I've had these bits of jewellery for a few weeks now. I wanted to test them out and the longevity of them and if they were like durable and whatever else. I sleep in my jewellery all the time. These earrings are that comfy that you can sleep in them too. So I've literally had them in since I've got them and yeah, they're amazing. I shower in them. There's no tarnish or anything like that. I'm normally a silver jewellery person and I really wanted to get some gold jewellery because I really feel like gold jewellery is like a staple piece to an outfit. I think gold jewellery looks really nice with oversized t-shirt dresses, um, now we're coming into the winter as well, like shirt dresses, the belt around the middle and then some boots. I think styling up your outfit with jewellery is like such a nice thing to do and simple but effective. Also I have got a discount code for you all which is 10% off whenever I'm shopping online like I'll always see if there's a discount code somewhere. Everyone loves a good discount, so I'll leave my discount code on the screen right now and then you can use that on their website. It is currently three o'clock, so I have been at work this morning. Um, I finished at one, came home, had lunch. Just wanted to get cracking in here. I've been meaning to do it for ages, like I've said, but yeah, it's just getting around to doing it. So as you walk in, this is what it looks like. It doesn't look too bad because my bed is made. When your bed's made, I think it just makes it look like so tidy. But yeah, so we've got some rubbish down here from me and Sam yesterday. We've got Sainsbury's bag because we went and got like crisps and chocolate and that <laughs> to eat in bed. Pretty little thing, parcel, which all the stuff's out of, it's just rubbish. So that's there. We've got a bag here, which is my bag from Sam's, Sam's slippers, load of junk down there, my handbag for work, my g just hanging on the wardrobe. Uh, my slippers, all my Zaffle clothes that I'm going to be doing a video on soon, so keep an eye out for that. The PlayStation, which has just come from Sam, so that's why it's in a bag. This is the thing, like, in my room, we just got 
bags that we've like to and fro from each other's houses so yeah it's a bit crazy got another box here which has got sam's drink like energy drinks um for his gym and everything in and yeah so that's there that was a delivery i've got another parcel down there which is for a video coming up which is exciting and i'll just give you a little sneak peek oh so, yeah keep an eye out for that video as well then i've just got clothes which clothes that's the whole reason why we're doing this video look at the state of me i've got my pajama bottoms on and just a jumper because like i said it's really cold oh and then my fluffy socks are making an appearance as well my bean bag a bag of stuff that i got the other day my tripod and my camera then on top of here all of this needs sorting out as well and then all my nail stuff because i did do my nails the other day both of the middle fingers as you can see have come off so i need to redo them again this is what we're working with it's a whole mess because it's just a random vlog i may as well show you these if you didn't know i now work at tk maxx slash home sense so in my hometown we've got a tk maxx home sense all in one store like in some places they have obviously they're combined but then in other places they're still a separate store and they're just owned by the same people but after my shift i only did a nine one today and after my shift They've got the Christmas candles in and I served a customer um, who bought these candles today and I was like, oh my gosh, I didn't realise we had them in. I work on the TK Maxx floor, so obviously candles are stocked on the HomeSense floor, so I don't actually see what stock goes out up there. But yeah, when I saw these, I was like, I've got to get them. Everyone knows I'm obsessed with candles, so that is why I picked them up. So, this is the first one I got. It's just by Sand and Fog. I had these ones last year as well. The lids are what drew me to them. How cute are these? Just says merry and bright and obviously it's pink so it'll go in my room. Oh, it just smells so nice and fruity and Christmassy. But that is called Holiday Berry, that one. And I just love it. The lids are my favourite. And then I got this one which is another Sand and Fog one. It's called Frasier fur and look at the lid they're like little santa gnomes oh they're just so cute and then this one yeah literally smells like christmas trees i need to find a home for them somewhere don't really know where i'm gonna put them yet so i'm just gonna leave them up there for now oh i don't e i literally don't even know where to start does anyone else do that? I procrastinate so, so flipping much and it's so bad. Like, I'll need to get a job done at home, like, tidy my room most of the time. I need to get it done and literally I'll just do anything that comes to my mind other than tidying my room. Just like I'm doing now. So, <laughs> let's get started. So, this side is Sam's side and then I keep my coats as well here. So, I might move my coats into the spare room um i'm just gonna lay things on my bed for now because it's just gonna be easier that way and then i can decide then what i want to do with everything oh random coat hangers i'm gonna put you on a time lapse just while i get things in and out and decide what i want to do So this is this side of the wardrobe I've just took out. Look at the state of it up there. That was all nice and tidy. Then we've got one of Sam's jumpers that he doesn't want anymore. His caps. Some of my gin. Some of my boots. And then these boxes were all tidy. But they've just been pushed about a bit. So that's why they look messy now. Um, but yeah, all in this side was a few of my coats. My old blazer from school. Because I like to keep it for memories and whatever else. Um, so yeah, all of that was Sam's stuff. Um, this here is a, like, little DIY doll's house that I got through lockdown. Just to, I love things creative, and that is just so fun to do. I've just not had a chance to finish it off. <laughs> just like with my bullet journal, oh my gosh, I've not done it for months, and I love doing that, so I really need to get into the swing of doing that again. Um, here I just have my shoes, my Gucci's, my McQueen's, m Nike's. Um, and then two big boxes, which I need to go through as well, because I think I'm going to hang 
my jumper's up now. And then obviously with having that other wardrobe, I can like bring things from that wardrobe into here when it's summer and then vice versa when it's like autumn and winter and whatnot as well. Just because I don't wear them if they're in that box down there because I could not be bothered to get this box out to then open that box. And I've got more shoes down here as well. So yeah, and then <laughs> you don't even want to look in this side. It's just full. And literally it's that full in here. You cannot move like the hangers at all, as you can see. Yeah, it's just packed, absolutely jam packed. And look at the state of it down there. I've got two more big boxes here as well, which are full of shoes. Fab. So with these, obviously I am gonna need them. Let's put some things on this bed. So my coat's there, I'll show you the bit that they cleared out for me. So obviously we've got all our towels there and bedding. Well, that's not all of our towels. We've got more towels than that because there's some up there and some in the air and cupboard. But they sorted out this whole side for me, which is just gonna, oh, it's just gonna be such a lifesaver. So I'm so grateful that they've done that. So yeah, that is what we're working with. At least we've got some more space there, which is just so handy. Right, I'm gonna get my life together and actually see what I want to do and organise things on my bed. I don't need to film, obviously, all of it. Um, and then we can go through the stuff that I want to keep, what I don't want to keep, charity bag, and what I'm going to put on Depop and whatnot as well. So I will catch you in a little while. The time is currently now four o'clock, so it's been an hour. I'm currently watching Anastasia's decluttering video. There's been quite a few people at the minute, actually, that I've seen do decluttering videos, and I love watching them, to be fair. I think they're quite interesting. I've just hopped on to quickly show you my progress, basically. So here's what it's looking like. The whole rail is now empty, <laughs> which looks so weird because I'm used to just seeing it jam packed full this is still an absolute mess but we'll tackle that after we've tackled this and so is this this is an absolute mess as well but like we say one thing at a time here are my piles of things so over there we've got sam's bits and then here is all the stuff that's just like random like so going out tops shirts dresses things like that that i still need to go through of like what i'm keeping and what i'm like not keeping here are jackets and hoodies and then here is all like work bits let me show you i have started to put um some stuff into this wardrobe already so this is what it's looking like in here so i've got jackets coats so all my jeans are here because i don't wear jeans hardly at all like ever anymore but i'm not going to get rid of them because i do still like jeans and they still look nice like if I want to go out in them one day, maybe. But because of lockdown, like, I've literally not worn jeans this year. Probably three times, if that, this year I've worn jeans. Not a lot at all to say I've got this many pairs. And then we've got dresses, like, going out dresses, formal dresses, um, Christmas bits at the back as well here. So, yeah, that is what this wardrobe is currently looking like. Going at an all right pace. Um, I'm quite happy with how it's going at the minute. Like I say, we're going to do one thing at a time. So now what I'm going to do is sort through this massive pile here because this is the bits that I don't know, like, what to keep and what to, like, throw or not pot potentially sell, potentially, like, put in a charity bag, basically. Oh, I forgot to show you. This is a pile here ready for the charity bag. And then here is a pile of Depop stuff. So I have been sorting different bits, but the bits that are in this pile, I got out of my wardrobe like in chunks. So yeah, I've just got to go through them all separately. Right, I'm back again. I've done it all. My bed is now clear. Oh god, the exposure. Is The bed's now clear, apart from this bit, but that's going in my summer drawer because they're summer dresses. So they're just gonna go in my summer drawer because I've got a summer drawer under my bed that side. <laughs> oh my gosh, 
it's so much better there's so much more space obviously i have got m all my zaffle stuff from the haul that i'm going to be doing over on my channel it's not i've not filmed it yet but obviously i've got that to film and then once it's filmed they need putting away i've still got to go through these drawers but i'll probably go through those like another time like this is literally just going to be a wardrobe declutter like declutter video but like i said earlier i want to get that box out the bottom one there because that's got all of my autumn jumpers in like my knit and wool jumpers and I want to hang them up because obviously we're coming into autumn and winter now. So I'll be wanting to use them a lot more and I forgot what I've got. So I want to get them out, hang them up so then they're ready to use. And then when it gets to summer again next year, I can then swap my wardrobe around and use that box maybe for something else. But let me show you my wardrobe, how it's looking at the minute. So this, I can't really open this door fully yet. So it's just going to have to go like that. So, I've organised it in a way that I know. I was going to colour coordinate it, but it just didn't work because I like mine, rather than colour coordination, I like mine being in sections so I can find it easier. So, at the back here, I've got jackets and, like, hoodies, jumpers and, like, zip jackets. So, I've got them there. Then I've got my faux fur gilet. Then I have skirts and then dresses there. Um, and then it goes into tops, then my cardigans, and then all of this black is my work stuff. As you can see, there is literally so much space now. Like before, you couldn't even move the rail. That sounds horrific as well. I hate that noise. And then this side is Sam's side, and I've organised his as well. So he's got his jackets, his jumpers and hoodies, then his tops. And then there's one lonely pair of jeans. I don't know where his other jeans are. And then... In here, I've got my school blazer and signed t-shirt from when I was at secondary school. My posh blazer, two blazers. I've got my leather jacket, my winter coat, like some smart shirts. Then I've got my jeans. Then it goes into going out clothes. And then here at the back is Christmas clothes, like my Christmas dresses and formal dresses. It's really no surprise that you already got it is currently half past five so i'm gonna end this video here um i'm d pretty much done anyway i just need to tidy my room but that wasn't what this video was anyway it was just decluttering my wardrobe i haven't got round to tidying the bottom bit and the top bit yet but i know there's no clothes or anything up there they're just bits that i need so like my handbags shoes i did my shoes not long ago so they don't need decluttering um, and then it just all needs a general tidy. So this is what we're looking like now. I'm going to fill Sam's up a little bit more. I'm going to put some more of his jeans up there because I think they're in his drawer at the minute. So this is Sam's side all here. My boxes, all of this bit's all clean now. I've got my work shoes all here. In the bottom box there's like jumpers like this. And then in this box there's jumpers like this as well. I've just halved them because this one was overflowing. So that one had obviously all my wool jumpers but I've hung most of them up now so we've had got more space in both now um my nice designer shoes are there I have got my other two on display which my Jordans are there and then my Balenciagas are there um like I say still got to tidy all this bit up but there's nothing to actually like throw away or get rid of so it just needs a general tidy it all fits in properly it's just messy from where things have just been chucked in but this is what my wardrobe is looking like now as you can see so that is the end of this video i really hope you enjoyed it i hope it solved like all your decluttering needs it really needed doing and i'm feeling better in myself for doing it make sure you go and check anna louisa out i'm gonna put their website on the screen right now so you can see what it looks like make sure you go check them out because they have got some gorgeous bits on there and like i say they'll just be perfect for christmas perfect for a gift for anyone like who doesn't like a bit of jewelry like i think jewelry is one of the best gifts that you can get someone for Christmas. Thank you so much for watching and thank you so much to Anna Louisa for partnering with me on the sections of this video. I really do appreciate it and I literally love your jewellery to bits. I will definitely be purchasing myself off there in the future because I do really, really love them. This is like my new favourite necklace and my new set of earrings. If you did enjoy, don't forget to give it a huge thumbs up. Subscribe down below if you haven't already. Make sure you go follow me over on my social medias. They'll be on the screen right now and I'll see you on my next video.
Bye everyone. Bye.